Infrastructure in the capital city, from flooded roads to broken sidewalks. We've seen them and we've seen the need. Today, Springfield Mayor Mike Houston held a news conference to talk about improvements. ABC News Channel 20, Chantel Middleton is live at the municipal building to tell us what we can expect to see. Chantel. Now the city is under an administrative order by the EPA to eliminate some of those flooding backup areas. Now Mayor Houston says the city government is borrowing for a 10-year, $60 million investment and a sewer maintenance program that should improve infrastructure. The plan, he says, calls for the city to spend more than $100 million on sewers alone in the next 30 years. Houston goes on to say the city has already poured money into things like sidewalks and road repairs. If you haven't noticed them yet, the mayor thinks you soon will. What people will see after this winter compared to what we had after this past winter, the number of potholes that aren't there. And there will be less potholes after we finish the second year and a whole lot less after we finish the third year of this program. Houston, who is running for re-election, says repairing the city's neglected sewer system has to be a long-term commitment, one he says is already underway. So far, the Northeast Area Sewer Study has been completed. The city is finalizing engineering work for $5 million worth of sewer rehab, and 30 drainage projects have been completed so far, and that is just all this year. For now, we are live in Springfield. Chantel Middleton, ABC News Channel 20. All right, Chantel, thank you very much. In a little less than 30 minutes, Springfield City Council will meet there at the municipal building. We will, of course, have another report tonight at 10 o'clock on any action taken in at, at that meeting.